Hey everybody, I'm Aaron Norris with the Norris Group. It's Friday, August 6th. How many rentals does the average landlord hold? That and much more as we get to the biggest headlines in real estate. Spending on construction increased 0.1% in June, according to the Census Bureau. Underwater borrowers decreased by 26% in the first five months of 2015. Only 6.1% of all mortgages are underwater, and that's down from 79% at the peak. Mortgage originators are up 29% from the last year. CoreLogic reported 6.5% increase in home prices. Distressed sales nationwide, uh, nationwide inched under 10% of the market for the first time since 2007, and mortgage rates decreased again, according to Freddie Mac. 30-year uh, rates are now at 3.91%, and 15-year rates are at 3.13%. What a fantastic little surprise in the middle of summer. The latest reports from Clear Capital shows that the weakest area of the housing market is actually mid-tier homes. Ranging from 120000 to 345000 uh, this segment has fared worse than homes less expensive and more expensive. Low-tiered homes are already, uh, already close to their highs in 2006, while mid-tier homes are 24.8% below their peak in 2006. So for Californians, this is really not much of a surprise, but there you go. Rejoice looks like banks are slowly starting to relax some of their lending guidelines. JP Morgan Chase is now offering jumbo mortgages up to $3 million for those with a 680 credit score with as little as 15% down. Now that's down from a 740 FICO score and 20% down. So let's see if they get even more aggressive with first time buyer stuff shortly. John Burns of John Burns Real Estate Consulting, you may remember him from I Survive Real Estate and our radio show, says to expect more building nationwide, but not to sell the homeowners, but for rentals. Burns says that 12.7 million detached homes are in the rental market, which make up about 29% of demands of rentals nationwide overall. Rentals, he says, are typically a mom and pop business, and here was the answer to the question, 54% of landlords only own one, so it really is a mom and pop business. Those that rent single family homes prefer living in a detached home over apartments, so it's going to be interesting to see how builders do this, which areas they are going to pick to build homes to rent, and what their pricing point will be for rentals. That's it for the headlines this week. Please like, share, and subscribe. And you can always check out more headlines at thenorrisgroup.com forward slash blog. Up on the radio show, we got David Greenberger. He is the 1031 specialist. And this was has been a request for a while. Um, a lot of people who have been buying for the last five years are sort of looking at some exit strategies as they get rid of some of the stuff that they bought at really great prices back in 2009. Uh, you'll definitely want to check out that the next couple weeks. August 13th, we'll be doing a California real estate market update at Tigar in Corona. August 14th, the California real estate market update at the Tri-Counties Association of Realtors. August 18th, Secrets to Becoming Wealthy will be in Glendale. August 19th will be in Irvine with Invest Club for Women. And of course, October 16th, the official announcement goes out Tuesday. I Survive Real Estate 2015. We're already 70% sold, um, but we'd love for you to attend. Check out isurvivrealestate.com. For more information on our hard money lending loans, check out uh, the norrisgroup.com. We've got fix and flip, buy and hold, and new construction loans. Uh, if you're looking for more passive ways to invest, check out tngtrustdeeds.com. With that, have a fantastic weekend, and we'll see you next week.